My Oshi give me five minutes of fame for all the wrong reasons. Oh boy, what's this gonna be about? That? <laughs> what the f And what the f is that P gate? Hi, I'm Mari, and the last several days in the V to being seen had exploded in this crazy frenzy. It starts at this post here. Out of curiosity in the VTuber community, what is your most WTF VTuber moment? And as you can imagine by the massive ratio of quote retweets, this really struck a chord with a lot of VTubers. And today I want to share with you some of the most interesting stories on that post because uh, there are some of the most unhinged WTF VTuber moments that uh, I've ever read. Not my most WTF, but I offered to sign my standee for the top bidder at Anime Expo, and when one bidder inquired how they could verify it was actually signed by the VTuber, I quietly confirmed it was me. Wow! Way to break my immersion, and then he stormed off cursing me. What the heck? I mean, bro, you ass! Like, what do you mean? What do you- Like, what do you mean, like, way to ruin my immersion? It's like, why do people purposely try to trigger themselves? If you don't want your immersion broken, then- I don't know, don't ask? When I found out that folks I genuinely respect Respect, and some that are now even close friends lurked in my streams and were just too afraid to approach or talk to me. Absolutely boggled me. Of all people, it's wild out there. Yeah, sometimes I have some VTubers who I talk to too, and they're just kind of like, oh my god, I can't believe you're actually talking to me. And I'm like, I, I, I mean, uh, yeah, I like talking to people too. Not necessarily a WTF moment, but on rare occasion, a client will communicate with me 100% in character. And if I'm being completely honest, I think it's low key base, like pop off celestial demon, vampire, fox, queen, witch, goddess. Heck yeah, I'll write you some VGMs. I definitely mixed up those two words, but <laughs> I think you get the point. <laughs> Person donated money, gifted random games on Steam, got mad when I didn't play them on stream. Then later on, I found out they were upset and leaving my community because I do too much just chatting, specifically that I talk about other VTubers I like way too much. Wow, they really would not like my content then if that were the case. I don't understand the type of people who like get annoyed when like VTubers talk about other VTubers or do these quote unquote immersion breaking things. Like how do you know that me talking about other VTubers and all this other stuff isn't just part of my lore? And you're the one that's trying to break the immersion. You ever think about that? No, because you're too busy thinking about yourself with your disgusting used tissues. Baka. When VTuber friend asked me to stop flirting with other guys during stream because it made him jealous and he didn't want to share me, then he broke up with me when I told him no. We weren't even together and I'd only known him for a month. What the actual heck? Oh my god. I think it's really interesting how like some content creators get really really parasocial with like other content creators and like they I don't know like this weird role playing stuff always ends up happening it's really common for VTubers it happens for other streamers too but very common for VTubers oh my god my Oshi give me five minutes of fame for all the wrong reasons oh boy what's this gonna be about okay I open Twitter and the first thing I see is <laughs> now <laughs> what the fuck? What is that? <laughs> what the fuck is that I can't. That is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Honestly, though, that was a pretty good drawing. I'm not gonna lie. That was pretty good fan art. That one frame that no one was expecting. Oh my god, I remember that. When Ina accidentally had that whole tracking issue with her 3D equipment, and everyone on the internet literally, they literally lost their minds over it. I think it's hourglass figure of it for me personally but i know a lot of people who just are really into like anime girl backs it's interesting now you might be thinking that everything's really wholesome and cool and swag right well shortly after this everything kind of changed after i started reading posts about ina's back someone in my community made an audio recording calling me a good boy in a very raspy voice and posted it in my discord server he got banned and then talked about how it was wrong because he spoiled me with food and money now he's a vtuber dude what the f you know, this reminds me of that time I had a couple of people roleplaying in my Discord server, except they were sending audio roleplay clips in gen chat, and I had to politely explain to them that posting those can make other people uncomfortable because one, this person sounded like a child in those audio recordings, and two, my Discord isn't a f***ing roleplay or dating server. When I outed a VTuber being a catfish with someone else's IRL pics to the original owner, the OG called them out. That VTuber then dropped everything and left everything graduating. All because I recognize the bulge pick. What the f 
did I just read? Three years ago, when I first debuted, I posted a picture of my model showing my the town, which is blue. A VTuber commented a picture of their model's blue coochie, all out <laughs> saying that the reason why my town is blue. Man, VTubers sure are weird, am I right? Am I right? They really thought they were being uh, clever with that one. A classic experience. Oh no, I can feel my racism growing as I look at you. Oh, never mind. That's my looking good. Br what the hell? Tell later what is going on in your comment section. And that's on YouTube? That's a YouTube comment. Chat keeps talking about their d completely unprompted. What is with so many like people always just talking unpromptly, unsolicited pics and like VTubers like messages or chats like what is up with that like I get it we're anime we're hot and it's very easy to get off to us my god like some of you people need Jesus or at the very least some tissues because some of you are nasty and sticky someone replied to one of my tweets that they were sitting on my feet um <laughs> okay then proceeded to DM me an in-depth description on how they were using my feet to get off all while in character they then asked if I liked it and I just never responded I just blocked them. Is it just me or can we all agree that there are a lot of feet lovers in the VTuber community? Like, look, I'm not gonna yuck their yum even though I personally am not in the feet. I know that there are a lot of VTubers who really like playing into that. But uh, normally you should ask for consent for something like that first instead of just straight up DMing them and like, I don't know if it's considered love bombing or whatever that was, but yeah, um, they deserve the block and to move on. Actually, I remember someone randomly made some pregnancy fan art of me a long time ago and I never realized until that moment that there are so many kinks that people have about their Oshis. It's uh, it's very interesting to see at the very least. I sent a video of a dude going, <laughs> why, what? Uh, as if with the rest of it was, it blocked him. He shows up as the first chat in the street five minutes later when I go live and just goes, <laughs> <laughs> Some people are just so unhinged. That one VTuber who got absolutely railed and streamed the whole thing. <laughs> what? Some of these are a little too spicy for me to be saying on YouTube, I swear. Maybe I should like release a Patreon only version or something. That one VTuber who stabled her. Oh my, I forgot about that. That is, oh boy, that was, um, mm. <sighs> Some VTubers are, wow. Yeah, that was crazy when that had happened. This chat that I got before, I cried. Oh, no, 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 no. We are not reading that. No, 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 no. Some of these cold retweets that I had read are um actually kind of messed up. And no, I'm not going to be showing them to you on YouTube. But it's scary to think about how dangerous and evil some people are in the VTubing scene. Unfortunately, it does happen, though. When an old VTuber friend tried to destroy my whole life because I said it wasn't cool, she didn't tell me that she has COVID. Got harassed and treated like a piece of sh**. This person nowadays uses bots for their streams, scams artists, and became Twitch partner. What? Now, if you're gonna be scrolling through some of these yourself, just be warned that you might see some really sad ones because unfortunately, well, some people just suck. Someone I used to look up to telling me to my face in VR and in the same breath, I'm so proud of how far you've come, but what about me? Uh, that was the wrong toggle I wanted to use, but what about me? But what about me? Where is it my time to shine? Why don't people love me like that? Man, whoever said that to you, I love that person. They're a fake friend. Jealousy is the ugly cousin of envy. And honestly, I'm really surprised that people are okay with just sharing this stuff so openly. I just want to give these people a hug, you know? Maybe that's why, because maybe this tweet is just giving people that safe space to want to vent out these frustrations. I typically don't share my own bad experiences that often because, well, um, nobody's ever really asked me, so I just kind of assumed that nobody cared. So this is for all those people out there who had someone do them wrong and i'm really sorry you had to experience that just know that not all of us are bad terrible people some of us are really awesome and cool just finding them is the hard part also this entire trend wasn't just a massive vent sharing frenzy because some vtubers interpreted this tweet to talk about some of the most embarrassing or silly mistakes they've ever made as a vtuber when after i had celebrated one year of my debut then when i watched my own debut i realized that for one year the notif alert sound when a visit when a viewer follows you is not heard on stream on the viewer side and it took me one whole year to realize that i missed that <laughs> how did you not realize at this time the thing is i 
didn't. I only heard the alert on my side, but I did not know that the viewers could not hear it on their end. Oh my god. Wow, that sure is embarrassing, but not as embarrassing as a segue to our sponsor. If we had one, but I don't. So instead, get yourself some gamer stuff by using my code Mari for 10% off your entire order because the more people who use my code, then the more likely I'll be able to get my own creator cup or gamer subs flavor. If I got my own gamer subs flavor, what should we name it? And don't say virgin tears, college girls gym socks, or gamer girl bathwater because I'm pretty sure those are already taken. And with that being said, have any of you experienced any weird, cringy, or just WTF moments in the VTubing scene? Leave a comment down below and maybe I'll make another video featuring some of them or maybe I'll share with you some of my own cringy VTuber moments if you like this kind of stuff. I really like hearing about other VTubers experiences because it makes me feel like I'm not alone in experiencing some of this cringy stuff. Thanks for watching and remember everything reminds you of something. Bye! Seriously, stop role-playing in my chat. I can kick yours and Goku's ass. Also, quick side note, I saw from yesterday's video that a lot of you kept commenting on the glasses and how you really, really like the glasses. I uh, honestly wouldn't mind getting some glasses fan art, just saying. Here, I'll even pose for you so that way you can draw me with glasses on. Bye! Oh wait, hold on. Maybe, maybe I, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I, maybe I shouldn't be allowing this kind of stuff to happen. Ah, what's the worst that could happen?